So the UN Global Compact is an opportunity for businesses to get involved with some of the big picture work the UN is doing around sustainability, but also an opportunity to align with the UN on some of the key principles you want to operate when you're in business. There are 10 core principles, human rights, it looks at supply chain, it looks at ethics in business, Every year you submit a report to the UN which is published on their site which demonstrates how you adhere to these 10 principles. It's designed to be part of your normal reporting process so you're not doing extra work. There can be challenges because sometimes people say, well, this is New Zealand, we don't have an issue with slave labour or corruption or, or etc. The point is that you have to really look at your supply chain. You have to make sure you have the right contracts in place for your employees. We're aware that we have to show progress next year and we'll look at what we've um, achieved and what we look to achieve in the future. The Ocean Platform is a subset of the UN Global Compact we can get those together who work on the ocean, such as shipping, tourism, aquaculture, fisheries, deep sea mining, that alignment and that cooperation is a better place to be to do the right thing by the ocean. We have made a decision that we're going to get involved with a couple of broader um, international schemes, um, and that's the Global Salmon Initiative and the UN activities, but we've also made a decision that we're going to get involved at a national level in New Zealand and one of the partnerships that works really well for us is with the Sustainable Business Network. Certifications are really important to us to essentially have a third party verification of our practices. We're audited more than once a year by multiple departments such as the Ministry for Primary Industries which is a standard one. ASC is the Aquaculture Stewardship Council. It's a process that we've just started in the last year where we look to certify our farms to their global standard. We also work with Best Aquaculture Practice, which we refer to as BAP, very similar to ASC, focusing on the social, environmental and technical aspects of salmon farming, but it also incorporates our community activity, our work within processing, hatcheries, how we treat our staff, do a number of things right across the board. So the, some of the standards have up to 250 small criterion that we would have to work towards to maintain and achieve certification. We use certifications to be able to say, we're doing what we say we do. And here is someone who's a third party expert in aquaculture who comes in to have a look. Again, like membership schemes, there's a lot of opportunities to join different memberships and different organisations. So you need to put the brakes on when you go too far on having every certification in the world. But we do view it as important in having a third party independent uh, verification of what we do.